Howdy YouTubers, this is going to be my first video of the day. It's going to be a shorter one uh, because I'm going to show you a few things and get into detail what the topic is going to be for this video. This right here is a 90, I looked it up, 1950s General Electric travel steam iron but I'm missing some parts because I was just going to do this one and save this for another video but I'm missing the steam ball to put the water in so I have to get those parts this is on the back burner until we can get those parts and prove if it's working or not and possibly repair now nah, it's fine but I have a Mystery surprise. Oh, and did I say howdy, YouTubers? I probably did. You're howdy, folks. Anyways, mm, what could be in this box? General Electric automatic iron. New to you with made in Bridgeport, Connecticut. They also had a branch in Ontario, California. That must have been the store that they was bought from. High speed. Call rod automatic iron. 115 volts. 2 and 1 quarter pounds. 1,000 watts. For alternating current only. And number one. N-O dot. 129F23 General Electric. I wonder if it's in the box. Ta da! Mm. It is. What do we have here? And look at it. It's an automatic. Now I'll uncoil this here. And we're going to see together. How to put the water in this and make it work. There's our sight ball. So somewhere here is our water. I wonder how we put the water in here. Oh, it's a bulb. I wonder how we put the water water bulb so that is something i'm going to have to figure out youtubers i will get back to you with another video today about this iron as soon as i can figure out how to put the water in and we're going to test this i've had this for at least a year now so Hold on, let me pick up the box here so this will be on a list today. Thank you so much, YouTubers, for who are tuning in and tune in again because there will be another video today. I will, if not today, tomorrow, but I'm pretty sure today because I could get preoccupied at the end of the day. Anyways, thank you so much, YouTubers. Have a great whatever time, wherever you are, and stay strong. Keep your passions alive. Be yourself and set forth. Thank you, have a great, thank you and have a great whatever time, wherever you are. Bye for now, folks.